Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking Live. Uh, I'm Chef Patrice and I'm going to make you a better cook. Today what I want to do is I want to show you and I want to teach you everything I know about lobster. Uh, we have two wonderful dishes that I want to do today. The first one, uh, we're going to do a watermelon with feta cheese and candied nuts and a little bit of arugula on top with a reduction of balsamic vinegar. That'll be a good way to start uh, a meal for today. We're going to follow up with the lobster salad uh, uh, with corn and leek radish. Um, another wonderful dish with a little bit of orange and butternut squash. So you can leave the uh, rubber band, of course, until uh, we are uh, safe. You can see here a beautiful lobster in there. I want you to cut about half in here first, and then lengthwise. I want you to cut it open like this, and maybe one more quarter. There we go. This will give us smaller pieces. And now what we're going to do is line them up like this and then um, grab it together like that with your hand and then just slice it and take your time i'm not gonna go fast in here i want everyone to do a good job the same thing we did earlier very very delicately here without disturbing the water too much even though you shouldn't have any sand anymore put the leak into that uh, mixture that we have in here all right, we're going to put a, a, a bunch, uh, a pinch of salt. At this point, it shouldn't be moving too much. It's cold. So there we go. All right, very good. Close it. Let's uh, bring it back to a boil. Okay, look at that lobster, nice and red. It's a sign that the lobster is cooked, of course. And I'm going to carry that over the ice water and plunge it in the ice water right now, immediately. So what's going on with the tail is we want to uh, break the ribs inside. So by hand, what I want you to do is um, crack, crack it like that. So you can see I'm opening the tail and I'm cracking it in. And you heard it or not, but it just, you know, you're cracking all those ribs. And then I want you to take it like that and open. Again, be careful of the little pointy things that you have on the side. And then after you, you open the shell and then grab the tail, don't put it out all in one, just jingle it a little bit like that. Just move it around, just let the chance to uh, the meat to come off the shell and there we go right there. So you got the entire uh, tail, nothing left on the, uh, on the shell in here. I'm making an, an incision on the back and I'm gonna show that to everyone here. This is perfect. So I'm cutting the lobster all the way open like that to the back of the lobster uh, body. So this is where you can see where the stuff was supposed to go, okay. Get your knife in here with the back of the knife. You can hear a little crack. After this, what I want you to do is just, you know, move it, jingle a little bit like that. You, be, you should be able to, um, to remove half the shell. There you go, right there. So you can see what mine's coming on in one piece right here. All right, so far we're doing good. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take this piece and you can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna kind of a jingle a little bit like that and all to the whole thing and then slowly, you know, don't put it all in once, slowly like that, and you can see what's going on. You're removing this piece of cartilage right here, but if you, and then I'm gonna move the other side, and if you look at it, this is one piece. Now we need the knuckles and we need the tail. We're gonna take the knuckles in here, and this is what you're gonna be using your um, your chairs and your scissors because they're very, they're very tough. Be careful, just put it on one, one side and then just, you know, cut it along the side like this. This is really the easy way to do this. There you go. And then I'm going to cut on the other side too. I'm not going to try to uh, fight. It's going to be so easy to remove. And you can remove the entire knuckle in one piece again. And that's what you were looking for. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that lobster. It's coming back to life. You place the, the little leg just like this. And you put a rolling pin. And if you push, you should see here a piece of meat coming out. Then again, I'm going to put that over there. And there you go, I'm gonna do that again. If you give me a big close up and here you can see what's going on. Look at that, slowly meat comes out. And so we leave nothing behind us when it comes to lobster. Set this lobster right there for you. Okay, so here goes. And this is boneless completely. Knuckle right here. The little legs. And then what we're going to do is actually, 
and I can cut that again anyway so and if you had to present the lobster and the this is how you would do it there you go lobster no shell on so just push it down like that this way they, they go in bit now what we're gonna do is take the radish and this you don't want to put too much it's very acidic that's why it was very important to cut them very thin if you cut the uh, radishes with your mandoline it does a better job than a hand I got those orange, they're beautiful, so I'm going to put one on the inside, just like that. I'm going to remove the um, the ring. Or maybe I put a big size in here, just like this. Here, we're going to take a little bit of truffle oil, if you decide to use truffle oil today. That's it. All right, so very colorful plate. Very refreshing. What we're we gonna do next week, of course, we have, uh, uh, we're gonna do some uh, flank steak, grilled flank steak. I'm gonna show you different type of sauce. But anyway, so I had a good time uh, spending with you today and doing that lobster. And I hope you're gonna join us next time on Cooking Live. Uh, so until I see you next time, stay in the air conditioning, everyone. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye bye.